That's good. How you doing, man? Pretty good. How about you, man? I'm good. I'm good. Let me just get set up real quick. Give me one sec. <coughs> All right. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, everybody. This is Eric here, back with another episode of the EOV Project. Um, try something a little different today. I'm going to start a new, I guess you want to call it topic or whatever. I'm going to call it the spotlight where uh, I'm going to pick an artist who's specializing in this uh, specific type of um, entertainment. So today I'm going to start it off with my man, uh, Day Dayon. Did I get that right? That is correct. Wow, you just got that right on the first try. <laughs> gotcha. I was practicing that shit all day. I'm like, yo, I don't want to fuck his name <laughs> up. I won't get my man angry. But yeah, no, so uh it. Yeah, so uh we spoke a couple of days ago. I saw your work on Instagram. Um I thought mm -hmm. a lot of it was like really dope, really interesting. And um okay. I thought it'd be a great way to kind of start off this um this new topic I'm working on. So um I guess just let the people know what like what do you what do you do? Okay. Well, my name is Dayon. Um I have a production company called Dayon Day Out Production where I do cinematography and photography. Uh, currently, I, um, like I said, I have my own business and I also do video for Finish Line. So gotcha, gotcha. that's my that's my day in, day out. Gotcha. And um, you're based out of Indianapolis, right? Indianapolis, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So I guess for the people, like, uh, how'd you get started in cinematography and uh, photography? Oh, wow. Um, shit. I want to say sophomore in high school. I want to say that's like what 2000 and I can't even think of the date but um the sophomore uh sophomore in high school started off with like a little rinky dink Nikon mm -hmm. uh started off with that taking pictures of like buildings and new construction stuff around the school that's started right. with that and then it led into doing like senior videos um sports videos around school and just like videos all around um the campus really. I went to Arsenal Technical High School um, here in Indianapolis. So okay, cool. That's what I'm doing. Gotcha, gotcha. So like, when you started doing all that, did you know like right off rip like yo, this is something I kind of want to like venture deeper into, or was it like something else that kind of like grabbed your attention towards it? Uh no, not at all, man. When I was in high school, I was just mainly focused on sports. Like when I say I was a diehard sports first. Um, athlete um that's all i did like two three day practices gotcha, uh, gotcha. track basketball football even did some baseball and soccer so i was a little bit everywhere oh, okay. but um uh once i got into college uh, i went to iu bloomington for college once i got to college didn't really know what i wanted to major in and then going into my sophomore year i figured out what i wanted to major in my second semester gotcha. um so i majored in telecommunication, telecommunication film and production Okay, cool. So, yeah, so I got into that, and everything is history now, man. I've been making money from it ever since. <laughs> nah, that, that's dope. That's dope. So when you say sports, are you a Pacers fan since you're all over there in Indianapolis? Of course. Of course. I'm a fan, but I wouldn't say, I like, I'm a diehard fan. My team is the <laughs> Lakers, but. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave that alone. Sorry. Man, talk about man that. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, but I can't talk much either. I'm a Knicks fan, so we, we in the same okay. boat right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, all right. So, like, after your uh, you say your sophomore years when you kind of got into like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, like when you first got started, like, what was the first, I guess, I guess project you would say that you got into once you decided um, this is what you were gonna do? Well, I didn't really get to like really start shooting anything. Um, I would say I've been, I was like PAing, it's like being a personal assistant on a couple of okay. um, films down there in Bloomington. One of them was like a good Catholic. It had uh, Donald Glover in there. Uh, oh my God, who was the other people? There was the two other lead actresses and actors in there. I forgot their names though. But the one that I, the one that I knew was Donald Glover though. So yeah, we shot that for about what I'm gonna say two, three months, three four months. Nice. And I was just there after classes, after my jobs, PA and helping them running errands. Being a gaffer, uh, getting them coffee, holding lights, just like yeah, literally yeah. just running around doing dumb shit. Right, right. So, like, you said it took you like three months to film. Like, is that like a norm? Well, I guess it depends, right? On like what you're filming, like how long it's yeah. going to take normally. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it depends on like 
the storyline, if it's just like a one and done type thing, or just basically the that span of the movie, basically. Yeah. Gotcha. So, like, I guess what would you say would to date would be your longest shoot if you could like put in the time frame? My longest shoot, wow. Um, I say I had a shoot that took about six months to get done. Okay. I'm gonna say yeah, with all the shooting, then the editing afterwards too. So yeah, it was uh, about six months. Okay. Yeah. I mean, time flies too. I can imagine. Like, oh yeah, definitely. You know it, like yeah, before you know it, you're already done or whatever. So yeah. um, with that film, you said you was working on for about three months. Um, what were some of the things you like picked up when you were like doing like, errands and talking to people and whatnot? I um really networking, man. Network networking was the biggest thing that I learned while working on sets, because when you're working on sets, it's not just you. Like, right. You got a whole team. You got the stylist. You got the makeup artist. You got the PAs. You got the gaffers. You got the light technicians. You got the actual film directors, the producers, the script writers. Like, it's literally mm -hmm. multiple hands that are in this to make one whole film. So right. you really cannot do anything on your own. You probably could, but it wouldn't turn out the way that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that you really wanted to. Definitely. Did you like pick up any gems or anything like that while you were um networking around? You said any any who? Any gems? Like anyone didn't drop any like good info for you? But kind of uh, stuff? Mm, let me see. Let me see. Well, it was one of them that was like I was talking to one of the producers, mm -hmm. and I was just asking a whole bunch of questions about you know what's going on, yada yada, and he was just like you know just always say yes to any opportunity, even if you feel like you know you. You're not able to do that. Right, right. Always say yes because in the end, if you don't know how to do it, then you go learn to do it. Exactly. You learn a whole new skill. So, right. ever since then, I've always been saying yes. That's how I got in photography. <laughs> I bought a camera. So I was like, "Hey, can you take my pictures?" I didn't know nothing about taking pictures. <laughs> only did films. So I'm like, "Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna take these pictures." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took Definitely. the pictures. Made twenty five dollars. And hey, there you like go. I said, been making money yeah. ever since. <laughs> I mean, what's the harm in saying? Yeah, it's like, like you said, you learn to trade, you learn to skill right then and there. Facts, so, like, facts. it works out. So, like, um, I guess what would you just say were like some of the challenges you uh you picked up like during your time doing that uh shoot, if there were any challenges at all? Um, really, just knowing how much the equipment really costs because yeah. the equipment is crazy expensive um yeah it's, it's, it's wild and also being patient mm -hmm. because with a with a pay um with, with the film it's like you have to have the script first before you even do any kind of shooting or anything like that so if the script's not perfect then the film is going to have some bumps and dents and stuff so how to get the so like yeah basically just being patient being patient is like probably one of my worst Things ever like I, I, I'm st I'm still working on that. So. Nah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Do it like yo, let's just get it over with. But exactly, get, exactly. But now I'm kind of like a perfectionist, so like I gotta take my time. I gotta make sure like I'm getting all the details, dying out of teeth, crossing out of teeth. Yeah, so makes sense. Makes sense. So yeah. you said, uh, you what would? I guess let's talk about like the first, um, either photo or whatever that you got paid for, like project. What what was the first thing you got paid for? My and, like, first photo. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, no, and I was just like, yeah, just like kind of break down the process of it, like how it worked out and all that good stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, my first photo gig was in college. I'm gonna say, uh, my junior year. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of my friends, she was doing something for her. I think it was her business. She was trying to get started up or something. She was trying to do, and she was like, "I need some, I need some photos and videos, actually." So okay. she paid me. Uh, I think she paid me like twenty five dollars for each. So I was like fifty dollars. Okay, boom! I made fifty dollars off of something, right? <laughs> so I'm just taking pictures, just like randomly taking pictures. Took a little interview and stuff, and it looked pretty decent. I still got the video down to this day. It's on YouTube somewhere, but. Oh, um, yeah, and it's it's just crazy how my work then compared to my work now has just right. like yeah. drastically changed. It's it's wild. Yeah, it's kind of like like you say you can bring it back to sports even like when you first start playing a sport and put some time in, put some effort in, and like before you know it, you're a whole different player, a whole different athlete. So I can oh, imagine. Facts. Yeah, I can imagine it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. So, that's um, do you have any, like, projects or anything that you're working on now that you want to talk about? 
Um, I just got done doing a documentary, I want to say two, three weeks ago, Man, about shit. women's attitudes about sex. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's it's 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 I'm, wild, man. I'm shooting that, that. <laughs> bro, yeah, shooting that, I learned I learned a lot. I could definitely send you the link after um after we're done with this. But uh, yeah, it's it's wild. I learned a lot a lot about like how women attitudes are about sex, and it's like being a male, yeah, filming a whole bunch of females talking about their sexual lives, their periods, how they feel about. You know, sleep with other people. It's, it, it was wild, bro. It was yeah, wild. It was definitely it's out of the box. Yeah, it's probably a whole <laughs> can of worms on that one. Oh, no, definitely, definitely. <laughs> oh, and something recent I'm about to start working on. I'm actually shooting a film here in May. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's from, oh, my God, what is the title of this book? I forgot the title, but it's Dreamers. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the team is called Dreamers, and... It's, it's it's gonna be dope. I can't really get too many details out right now, but right. It's, yeah, it's it's gonna be dope. That's coming in May. Gotcha. So yeah, yeah, I definitely look out for that in May. Dreamers, whatever it's gonna yes. be called. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some stuff on it. I'm gonna drop some yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. But all right. Um. So you said equipment is like kind of like one of the things you weren't really expecting. That was like, oh shit, that's a lot of bread. Um. Uh, what's like also, and you also said timing. Like you wanna, you know, get your timing right. Make sure everything's um. Down right. So, what are some other things you would say are like hard? I don't want to say hard, but like, yeah. What well, what's some things that can kind of hold you back from getting your work done um, in a manner that you would want? Okay, if we if we're speaking on film, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can do both. Mainly, if you want. Both. Okay. Well, I, I, yeah. I thought on film. If I'm speaking on films, it's just really finding a team that's dedicated to really get the job done. Because right. everybody has their own schedules, everybody got their own lives, so it's just like it's not always going to work out for the best. So Definitely. everybody's always expecting to get paid for their time. So you got to make sure you have the budget to even make the film mm -hmm. like that. So it's yeah, like I said, like it's it's really about finding a team that's dedicated to be there every day for a shooting, every day for a script reading, just anything pertaining to the film. It's just like finding people that are dedicated. Um. And with photography, to be honest, man, that's that's really a walk in the park. That's easy to me. Like, that's that's literally like probably the easiest thing I can do to get bread, make money, or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's not it's not really it's not really too much about photography. It's just like the editing, really. I, I would I would say the editing, gotcha, and gotcha. photography, because when you got to fix the lace front, it's mm -hmm. all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely gotta put some time in on that one. Oh, definitely. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All right. Would you say, um, with everything that you've done so far, do you have like a favorite uh shoot or film that you've done so far, or a number of them? A favorite, a favorite shoot, a favorite shoot. Um, damn. I did um I actually shot I got to shoot with one of my favorite dancers that I grew up watching. His name is Wildebeest. I don't know if you're into dancing or like that. But um he he he's a choreographer. His name is Wildebeest. And I got to shoot a project of his uh last year. So I did that. Um I had fun I had fun with that. It was actually pretty dope. Just seeing like I used to actually do his choreography, YouTube it, watch it, learn it. Right, and then right. to me actually like actually filming something with him being in it. That was pretty dope. Um let's see that. Damn, what what else did I do? Um I did some stuff with uh for Jacquees and Jock. Oh nice. Um who else? Uh Jeezy. Jeezy, yeah, he he came down, but it's like a concert type stuff, so just yeah, stuff with that. Other uh, than that, yeah, man, that's about it. Yeah, my man be working out here. I see that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be out here. I'll be trying. I'll be trying. No, nah, I hear that. That's all we can't do at the end of the day, right? Facts. facts. <laughs> I got you. All right, so you kind of stepped into my next, uh, I guess, question. Like, were there mm -hmm. any, like, I guess, celebrities that you would want to work with in the future or have worked with? And, like, you know, mm -hmm. if you can't get like, any experiences. If you've had any like you know one on one interactions with them at all or anything like that, right? Um, I know he's like the hot topic right now, but definitely like Will Smith though. That yeah. ass, like that. He's he, even though he's smacking niggas out here <laughs> on stages, but uh, nah, nah. Will Smith is definitely um, 
uh, my idol of mine, um, <laughs> Kevin Hart, definitely him. Right. Um, let me see who else. Um, a artist. I want to say uh, Chris Brown definitely because like I love with Chris Brown. He he he's hella creative, like crazy. His music videos, everything. Like I would love to do some work with him. Oh yeah, definitely. Easily. I would say those. I would say those are my top three right now. Okay. Those are my top three. Gotcha, gotcha. So if you had to um, choose maybe like a lesser known celebrity that people might not know about but you know is popping, who would you uh, bring up? A lesser known celebrity. Um, it's a couple actually. Um, I did some work with them, but not really something that I really just want to be like, oh, I'm happy, excited, really glad about it. Right. Um, it's a um band here in Indy called Huckleberry Funk. My boy Dexter is the lead singer of it. My okay. boy Brian, Alex Dura. It's like it's it's a whole squad. They dope as hell. So I definitely want to do a big project with them. Nice. Um, it's another boy they Nori the Goat. Do dope as hell. Uh, definitely want to do some work with him too as well. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, trying to think who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, my boy Daylo too though. He got some. He got some fire shit too. Okay. Him, um, boy Daylo, so yeah, he got some fire shit. I definitely want to do some work with him. Gotcha. Yeah, that was the people like based in Indy. Right, right, there. right. right. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So like speaking of Indy, like your work is basically in that general area, right? Yeah, mo mo most likely, yeah. Most okay. of my work is based here. Uh, I'll be in Chicago, too, as well. Um, I did some work out in Florida. Uh, I'm going to Jamaica this year for my first hey. out-of-the-country type show. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's growing slowly but surely. Do right, right. you, know, you have, like, a, a dream location you want to work out of off the top of the head? To be honest, no. The only thing that comes to the top of my head is Paris. Yeah. Like Italy. Like, yeah. I only just want to go there because, like, just like their architecture there is crazy. So I know I can get, like, some dope shots. Um, even, from, even some action shots. Any, anything, really. Like, Italy is just dope as hell. No, yeah. That would be dope. So um, I was looking at your website and I came across this quote um, that you had written down. So I'm a. I'm a mm -hmm. Like reiterate it, and um, I'm gonna get like what what does it mean to you? I guess you can kind of like break it down. All right, so it says, uh, you love to capture the moments of your clients, and no, I, I'm gonna just read it verbatim actually. Yeah, you good? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, I love capturing moments my clients will hold on to and enjoy every time they look at them. So, what does that mean to you? Mm. Um, when I wrote that, um, I actually came up that after. After my little brother passed away, actually, um, wow. yeah, because like um, I don't know, I guess he really didn't. He didn't really take a lot of pictures like that, mm -hmm. so like we really didn't have like so many pictures of him that we can really like use to really do anything. So after that, it's kind of like I found my, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? Motivation. My drive or my passion, yeah, or my, yeah, my, my or my motivation to like yeah. to really keep photos into my day to day. So yeah, it's like I like people just like like taking pictures. People always come to me like, oh you charge too much for this, you charge too much for that. But it's like majority of the time I'm not even just trying to get your money, bro. I really just want to just take your pictures. But right. majority of the time so it's like I like for people to get some nice, decently pictures that they can use forever and hold on to forever and go back to that moment and be like, dang, that was a great moment. I remember exactly. that moment. Exactly. exactly. So, like, you can relive it. Like they say, like, a picture says a thousand words. So, yeah, yeah. definitely. I've always heard that saying, but I never really understood why they say that until, like, you take a yeah. really dope picture and it's just like, okay. Like, I don't got to say shit. You just look at it and it's like, yeah. You look like, yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> But um yeah, I appreciate you for um coming in, you know, letting the people know a little bit about yourself. Um no this problem, is, uh, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So like I said, it's EOV Project Spotlight, episode one from my man Day on, day in and day out yeah. productions. Yeah. Um yeah, hopefully collab on some, get some popping. And uh yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. I'll be in New York here soon. Uh I think I'm gonna be out there in probably like two months. So I definitely tap in with you. Definitely, definitely. All right, man. Appreciate you. Uh no problem, man. Be easy. All right, you too.
I guess. So that's going to be a uh, first episode of this new, uh, I guess, I don't know what the fuck they call it, but yeah, I'm going to call it the spotlight. Like I said, I'm gonna bring people in who are, um, you know, doing different things in, in the world. Um, Dayan's a, he does cinematography and photography. Got to, you know, learn a little bit about him, about what he does. So, uh, yeah, uh, hope you guys like. It's going to be up on YouTube um, probably Monday or maybe this weekend. I'm not sure which yet, but say top 10. Got a lot more work coming out. I'm out.